Today, I'm gonna to be making some Snickers Shakers brownies. So the star of the show is gonna be the new Snickers Shakers that you can buy right now at Sam's Club. What you need for this recipe are, <clears throat> you need a half a cup of sugar, you need a half a cup of brown sugar, one and a third cup of flour. You're gonna need this whole thing. This 9.5 ounce container, you're gonna just, just plan on using the entire uh, package on uh, the entire thing on these brownies. Uh, you need a half teaspoon baking powder, four teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, three fourths cup of melted butter, two eggs, and then for just for our decoration on top, we are going to use some caramel sundae syrup. And I bought some Snickers candy bars. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine our butter, eggs, and vanilla in our mixer here. also add here you need a 9 by 13 inch pan you don't have to have parchment paper I like to use parchment paper but you do need to spray your pan uh, with some like vegetable oil spray if you don't have parchment paper you also need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees so in a in a bowl you want to combine all of your powders basically Okay, now I'm gonna take my egg mixture and I'm gonna add it to this uh, powder. And we're gonna combine it and it will, uh, it will be thick, just so you know, it, it should be thick. If you don't have a mixer, you don't have to use a mixer. Uh, I I've, I've could have done the, mix the egg, I could have done the exact same thing, the egg and the butter, just by hand. So you absolutely do not have to use a mixer. this whole mixture into your pan and then spread it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove my clips um, we're gonna check these at, at uh, sorry, we're gonna check these at 20 minutes, uh, but we might end up going as long as like 25 to 30 minutes. I will let you know the total time when I pull them out of the oven. These are the brownies when they come out of the oven. They were in the oven for 30 minutes. My brownies have been cooling. It's probably been an hour. They are still slightly warm, but that's okay. I like a warm brownie. We're going to take them out. There's no bend to those brownies. No. <laughs> so, I'm going to cut this one. There we go. And this is where your, this is how it looks. This is where your assembly comes in. I'll do one on a do one on camera. I'm gonna open up one of my Snickers candy bars. You can uh, you can buy any Snickers candy bars you want. You can buy the little the little mini ones or fun size, fun size or whatever you want. So I'm gonna put take some of my caramel sauce, oop, and put it over the top. And then you're just gonna take whatever size Snickers bar you want, but you want to be able to show that it, you know, this is definitely Snickers. So you just want to decorate the top with your pieces. And there you go. So we have our brownies here. Um, I made another one uh, because I wanted to have more caramel with mine. But first, we want to try it because these Brownies, the whole point of these brownies is to use the Snickers shakers. 
we want to try it without any of the, the caramel or the actual candy bar on top because uh, of course that's going to be really really sweet uh, so we just have the just the plain brownie here mm. i love the texture the texture is kind of got a, a chewy but gooey at the mm -hmm. same time texture mm -hmm. i tried the center part mm -hmm. i was saving the edge piece for another bite Oh, that's terrific. That's really good. You know, I was worried about making them in that long pan. Normally, I do not make brownies in that pan. Normally, they're that thick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Normally, I make them in a, a nine by nine inch pan, and they're a little thicker, and, and you don't get as many. But I actually love the texture of mm -hmm. these. Now, Snickers. Do they taste like Snickers? No. No. They taste like a really sweet, chocolatey, somewhat caramely. Mm -hmm. You know what though? I do pick up just a hint of peanut butter. I mean like peanuts. Oh, peanuts. I was going to say I don't Not like peanut butter. Peanuts. Because mm -hmm. you know Snickers has peanuts. Mm -hmm. I get a hint of peanuts, but really it's mostly chocolate mm -hmm. and a little bit of caramel. Mm -hmm. There's it's, nothing wrong with it no, at all. No, it's really, really good. It's delicious. But does it taste like Snickers? Honestly, no. Mm -hmm. um, Not the brownie, at least. We did a review uh, before this where we tried this um, in, uh, we made some hot chocolate with it. Which is excellent. And we <laughs> put it on toast. Mm -hmm. The best way, um, although I love these and I would urge you to make these if you don't mind spending that much. You're, honestly, these are some expensive brownies when you think about it. Because not only are you using the whole container of this, which is I think over five bucks, but you're using uh, you're you're using eggs and and all the other ingredients, uh, sugar, yeah, sugar. all that stuff we use. So these are some expensive brownies. If you buy this, I hope you do make these. But the best way to try it is hot chocolate. Yeah, that was excellent. It makes wonderful five out of five yeah. hot chocolate. And of course, you don't need to buy the caramel sauce and the Snickers. We did that just because we were trying to make it look pretty. We wanted to make it look fancy. Because it tastes really, really good just by itself. Yes, yeah, you don't need any of this extra sugar. <laughs> you don't need it. It's almost like eating a pancake. It's so sticky. The only thing missing from that is a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is so... I absolutely love the texture. It, yeah. That's the best part. That is wonderful because you have that caramel sauce, which is exactly what I thought it would be. Over the top sweet. Mm -hmm. But then you um, dredge that through that... Uh, that You have that ooey gooey caramel and then you have that crispy brownie uh, texture and it, it's terrific. The brownie reminds me of, it reminds me of eating pancakes, doesn't it? Because the texture of the syrup, mm -hmm. the, the caramel is like a syrup mm -hmm. almost. Um, the texture of those brownies is, like I said, it's kind of a sticky kind of texture, but it's very sugary, gritty kind of sugar crystal kind of texture. Mm -hmm. It's just very pleasant to chew on. Mm. It's very, very good. And the caramel sauce just adds even more sweetness to it. I ate a bite of that Snickers bar too. That's pretty incredible too. With the brown? No, I tried stuff? it by itself. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do all three. That's what I was thinking. All three in one bite. Okay, here we go. Mm. Did it happen? Mm-mm. <laughs> That's good with the Snickers. Mm -hmm. You get more of a peanut butter flavor. I mean, a peanut flavor when you try a little piece of Snickers with it. That is a terrific texture. Yeah, it's very good. So there's nothing wrong with this. It's just like like you said, it's kind of expensive because they have to buy a whole thing of the shaker. But um, but it's that, very good. I love that. I would like more Snickers. Literally, you could take a Snickers bar and it's not going to be pretty. Uh, but for you could literally take a Snickers bar and slice it and layer a, the whole top of that brownie with the Snickers and have Snickers in every single bite. Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's very, very good. Um, yeah, I like it with all three of those things. That That is just decadence. It's very, mm -hmm. very good. That's excellent. So I hope you enjoyed the video, whether you make them or not. I, I hope you just enjoyed getting to see us sit here and eat, <laughs> eat it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. And thanks for watching.